Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Other Foot Market, and what you guys are watching here is the start of the Footman series that I'm going to do in the channel. I think what I'm going to be doing, uh, and if you guys don't know already, I am mainly like a streamer. I mean, I do YouTube very consistently, but streaming is my main thing, and I do stream every day on Twitch, so if you guys want to check that out, you guys can. Um, and that's what I originally started on, and it's no downplay to YouTube, I'm just telling you guys. I'm going to be doing a recap of Footmas every single day on here. You'll probably see this upload daily around anywhere from 3 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So 8 p.m. to 1 p.m. UK, 1 in the morning UK. No, did I do that right? Yeah. So probably that and what this will consist of is I'm going to do a review of the market, talk about the SPCs that came out, talk about what SPCs require what, and then talk about trading tips and market tips and just kind of like card tips, giving you guys that knowledge of if a card is good, is it worth it? Is the SPC value worth it? Are there other players in that position that are better? So they're going to be probably 15, around 15 to 20 minute uploads. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff in here. There's going to be ways to make coins. There's going to be decisions with cards. You guys are going to get to watch me do some SPCs and things like that. And I did something like this last year, but I wanted to polish it up and bring you guys a really good final product for this year's version of it. So I know exactly what I'm doing and I have a very organized way of doing it. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys enjoy it and you're enjoying the daily content, just a thumbs up is all that matters uh, to me. And uh, guys, in the comments before we get into it today, um, make sure you guys let me know. We have three players that came out today, Gomez, Zaha, and Pereira. Let me know which ones you guys did and why your reasoning was behind them. And without further ado, guys, let's get into it. So guys, we move into the SPC screen, and what you guys can see is that Torreira is missing for me. Now, I went ahead and I completed Torreira. I completed Torreira today. I thought Torreira had a great, great, great value for the price. Um, Torreira cost me today, and on Footbin right now, uh, Lucas Torreira is valued at, if we check Footbin, uh, Torreira is valued at 24,000 coins. And boy, oh boy, is he worth it. He's very, very worth it. Um, and I wanted to talk about his card before we talk about any of the others. And the, 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 the reason why I did it, the SPC was an 83 uh, rated requirement. And you didn't need much. And for me, by the way, they killed it today with the players on day one. There haven't been any leaks. It's been a beautiful uh, time to be a FIFA player. It's amazing, man. And, and so I think this card is really good. You've got some very good standout stats. And for 24,000 coins, you're getting such a good card. 97 balance. 87 agility, 85 ball control, 80 dribbling, 80 composure with 86 interceptions. Now, keep in mind, he's smaller, right? So you'd probably be wanting to play this guy as a left center mid or a right center mid, more of a 4 one 2 2 formation. That's where I would look to play Torreira. Great card, though. I think for the value, you got to look at it and say, wow, that's really worth it for 20K. 89 stamina, strength isn't the best. A lot of people ask about a chem style for this player. I would probably recommend a backbone or an anchor. That's probably where I would go with Torreira. I would use something like that on him. But overall, a good card, and I wanted to just kind of show this to you guys. Because for me, it's so comparable to another very meta card. Now, I wanted to compare it to N'Golo Kante um, because I think it's comparable in a way. I, I do. I really think there's a way to compare these two. So they both are a very similar thing, right? Like Torreira's 5'6", Kante's 5'6". Both medium high work rates. Torreira has four-star skills compared to Kante's two-star skill moves. It's a very good comparison to look at. If you look at the in-games, really, Torreira competes and is better in acceleration. Torreira's better in a lot of in-games than Kante, especially on the passing side of things and especially uh, on some of the shooting. Something interesting to point out about shooting on Torreira is that he's got 88 shot power and 83 long shots, which I really like and I think he will perform well. Just so you guys know, I'm putting him on my weekend league bench. So he's going on my weekend league bench this weekend. Something that I wanted to talk about. Obviously, Conte destroys Torreira in the defending stats. Not destroys, but really just takes that elite level of marking, stand tackle, interception, stamina. So that there's a very significant jump when you start using N'Golo Conte. But Torreira keeps up. And I would recommend putting a backbone or an anchor on Torreira. So I wanted to just talk about that. Gomez right now is a pretty good player. I like the card. I rated a lot. Good dynamic, dynamic, dynamic image. I can't even speak. Uh, I've been speaking too much today. Uh, 96 acceleration, 87 sprint speed with good attack and positioning, good finishing, curve is good. I like the card, 83 long shots, the agility and balance are phenomenal. Strength is awful, but it's a cam and he's 5'5", five 4-star, five, 4-star. Four four star. So you've got a lot of good stuff on paper there. And I think if this card is 50,000 coins, I would do it. However, it's 80,000 coins. And I think for you guys looking to do this card, I think the biggest thing about Footmas is always trying to figure out what are the steals for value and what are cards that make sense to go ahead and do. For me, Gomez just doesn't really make sense for me. Um, and here's why. We were looking at it earlier on stream. Gomez is a very good player in FIFA, but Dries Mertens right now is like 40,000 coins. And when you look at the in games compared of the two to Dries Mertens' gold card versus that, you'd have a tradable 40,000 coin card versus an untradable 80,000. Yes, you're paying for the design. Both four star, four star. You've got two more inches on Mertens uh, in terms of the height. And really, they're the same card. Actually, Mertens has much better finishing. So I would go with Mertens in this one. I wouldn't choose uh, Gomez, but I would choose Gomez over Zaha. I think there's a lot of other Prem strikers coming in the future, and I think there's going to be a lot of other sweaty ones. The thing that is really good about this, 
is that they required a foot champion player. So you can use foot champs rewards in these SPCs, which is really, really a good sign and something very refreshing to see. It shows that EA are listening and they are understanding that that is something that a lot of FIFA players want to be a part of SPCs. We want to use our reds. We want to use our foot champions players. So this is really, really good. I'm really happy to see that. Uh, 84 rating is a little bit extreme. Zaha's coming in at a price of about 74,000 coins and 81,000 coins on Xbox, respectively, 71, 74 on PS. I think the guy is good. Three-star weak foot hurts it. It's a very fun card. Five-star weak foot, right? Five-star skill moves, rather. Um, 90 agility. The finishing is all right, but just there's some stats in here that I don't love, and I just don't see myself using him. I think as well, though, even though the finishing is good, I just don't like that he's got 78 shooting. And that's, to pay 78,000 for me, that's a lot. But EA is smart, and they're going to get a lot of people doing this card today. Now, uh, two other things before we talk about the SPCs and then some market things for you guys. Day one, I'm giving it a thumbs up. I'm going 10 out of 10. There's going to be 10 days of footmas uh, for the SPCs. So we're going to have 10 uploads of this series. Uh, they dropped an insane Martinez. And boy, oh boy, I want you guys to see this card. Stop whatever you are doing right now if you're watching this video and try your best to get this card. You've got a week to go get them. Win six online single matches using 11 MLS players. So you're going to have to use MLS players. You're going to have to get a squad. You're going to go into online single matches. But let me tell you something right now, guys. This is going to be the best super sub on FIFA till team of the season. You guys don't have to pay a dime for this card. Use MLS players in your clubs. Maybe, maybe you know, get some MLS players on the team. They'll be high all week. This guy is five foot seven with four star, four star. Great dynamic image, which is something I joke about, but it's great for a card. 94 sprint speed, 90 acceleration, 92 attack position, 92 finishing, 87 shot power, 99 agility with 99 balance, 82 composure. Off the bench, this is going to be a fantastic card for any of you guys for your team. So make sure you do make it a priority to get over there and definitely try to do that SBC. And then I also wanted to tell you guys as well, something that I did today, which might surprise a lot of you guys because I don't do a lot of SBCs. Today, I completed one of my favorite uh, childhood players, which was Michael Ballack. And I was able to do him because if you watch my footmas video, and we will talk about it right now, I will show you guys because I'm very excited. We got a really good call yesterday uh, on the market. We, we did really well yesterday. We I did a video about footmas and how to prepare and just stock your club with high rateds. And, and kiss the babies after that. And boy, it's it's looking really good. I was able to do Balak. He's valued right now at about 169. I probably did him before packs, probably for about 145 to 15. And then with packs back, probably about 13, 125. I did Soul Campbell as well and put him in. So I saved a little bit because Soul Campbell was a lot cheaper uh, than the than the normal icon, which is really good, man. So I was really happy to get Balak. And now he's going to be in my, he's, he's an end game player for me. He's going to be in my team for a while. And I'm still making team adjustments and I'm buying some players in here. And that's why you guys can see that. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about was my video, uh, my, my video. And my video yesterday, what I talked about was, guys, look, this is the promo to head into with these high-rated cards, these informs. And a lot of these informs are up. Now, Pjanic is not up a ton, right? Like, some of these informs are not up yet. I understand that. Um, but what you have to understand is that Footmas is going to take time, guys. None of these cards are going to just fly up day one. So the guys who bought discard informs were like, hey, I bought discard informs at 11K and they're 13 and they're not up. Well, let me just establish this. First of all, they're up 2K because you bought them at 11. And second of all, wait time, right? If you are if you want to get sales and things like that and you want coins, list your cards for lazy buyers. If you don't know what lazy buyers are, you list higher uh, than the price that it sells at for a few hours. And usually it sells and sells and sells because lazy buyers buy into your cards. So that's what I would be doing. And make sure you're doing that because people are on the market right now. People are buying cards. And it's just a thing. Like you have to understand, guys, people are buying cards right now and, and going crazy for SPCs. I was lazy buying today. Everybody's guilty of lazy buying at some point. So that's something that was going on with the market. And you guys got to understand that it is an ongoing thing. Pjanic, I picked up at 38. We just, he's 46 right now. So we're looking really good, man. We picked up a lot of these cards. Quaresma, we picked up for 33. I think he's like 40. So even the informs, which are the ones that are actually harder to go up sometimes, are up. Valeri paid 24. He's up a little bit for the MLS. Got a little lucky there. For Niles paid 34. For Niles is like 49. 49K for For Niles right now. I don't even know if I'm going to sell him. Because he's up a lot, but like I don't see the, the sky. The sky's the limit with that card. Fabian was an older team of the week. I bought him at 22.5. He's up at 30. So really some good profit coming in on some of these informs. The discards are doing well as well. I think G I'm assuming these guys, because they're MLS, are up a good amount. 17. So I'll be able to use them in my squad when I go get Martinez. And then if we look in the club as well, like 90 rated are doing really well. Godin is at what price? Is Godin... There's no way... I almost dropped my controller. Uh, is Godin... Um, is Godin that high? Godin's not 60, right? 59k and i got on a video yesterday for you guys man and i'm not saying like yo nick oh you're the best like you made me coin i'm just saying this is what i did yesterday on youtube i just stocked my club i wasn't doing spc investing just stocked my club o black right now is 60 is fifty nine thousand five hundred. i might take the money on some of these guys i think we're gonna go ahead and i think what we're gonna do actually 
is I think we're going to list for lazy buyers. I think because a lot of people are doing these SBCs. All Black is 60,000 coins right now. So I'm going to go ahead and list at 66, like 60, 64, 65. I'll just go Dean at 65, 5. Be greedy when it comes to these kind of cards, guys. You know, like be very greedy. There's no need not, there's no, there's no way you shouldn't be greedy with these kind of cards. Ter Stegen, it says 45K on flipping. We're going to go ahead and list at 48,750. 13K a card, guys. You're talking big time profits. Busquets, uh, and this is, guys, this is just day one. After we go through and list some of these for Lazy Buyers, we're going to go through and we're going to start to talk about some other potential players that you guys can go on. I'm going to save this, even though it's 47. I'm going to hold on to that. But, guys, really, really, really good return on a lot of these players. And it shows you the, what you can do in terms of if you prep properly that you can really, really kill it with some cards. I think I'm going to hold my... I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I'm debating holding my higher... These kind of golds uh, for the reason that I feel like... I really do feel like they can go higher at a certain point. Uh... I, I, I think they can go higher at a certain point. I'm going to hold on to these guys. I'm not going to sell them yet. I do think that they could potentially go higher with more SPCs that keep coming. I think there's an opportunity today, and this is what I wanted to talk about with you guys in terms of what's next. Look, all this stuff is up a little, but it's not up a lot. So if you still want to get in with 86s and all that, you could late tonight when it maybe starts to die down, you could pick up some and you could start to look into it. Um, right now, I'm just listening for lazy buyers. That's what you guys see. I'm just continuing lazy for li listing for lazy buyers. That's kind of what I'm up to, and that's what I'm doing right now. And that's what I'm enjoying doing. I think it's a good way to go about things, uh, just as lazy buyers. But what I was going to talk to you guys about is that 83s right now don't look like a bad buy. And, you know, I think at some point we're going to get a Team of the Week SBC. By the way, I also wanted to tell you guys this. Uh, EA also said that there's going to be uh, two more sets of icons. So just so you guys know, 83s right now are on the market at 1.3 thousand coins. Which for me, guys, like, I recommend that. I I am cool with that. 1,300 coins for me seems like pretty, I mean, like it seems pretty viable at that price. That seems pretty good. And they are coming down. And that's the impact of, you know, some SBCs right now that honestly, like there's not, a, there was demand on today's SBCs, but I don't think there was an overwhelming amount. I think there was demand, but I don't think there was a ton of them, a ton of them. So I think the the goal of this series and the goal of this upload is just to kind of do what I'm going to do and walk you guys through what's going to, what I'm doing to what happened in the day. And then what's going to, how, almost like what happened today and then how you can prepare for tomorrow. That's, that's really what I want to do on this series. I want you guys to feel like you guys are watching and understanding what's going on in a given day and then what's going to happen potentially tomorrow. That's, that's really the goal of this series. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get uh, a farming if we can. I don't know if we can get him. So we're going to get farming for the club. And we're just going to keep restocking. Um, I'm going to be trying to like figure out, SPC-wise, who is worth it and who isn't. Obviously, goalies uh, for 83s go for a lot less, usually, uh, historically, when you look at SPCs. But if 83s are 1.3, what you guys have to understand is that 83s hit like 2,000 coins last night. Um, so people were invested. And now I think people are a little... I Maybe say frustrated i mean maybe that people people were are literally selling these right now because they're so mad that maybe they just their 83s didn't go up as much as they wanted today and now they're just kind of like rage selling at least that's what it feels like it feels like people are kind of listing them up on the market and are a little bit mad that they're not selling for me you're gonna have constant SBCs coming out every day uh requiring a lot of these cards and i do think they're gonna start bringing out as we go day by day probably a few more that are gonna be decent you know today we got some decent ones in uh zaha and terrera and i think very good ones but i do think we're going to start to get good, like really, really good ones. Like they're going to be dropping like maybe a Jordi Alba. I don't know. You know, stuff like that though, on that level, I could see like a Raja Knight Golan. And then you'd probably see a, a majority of 86 is going up for those kind of SPCs. Um, for those more specific meta SPCs, you're going to see a lot more movement on a lot of these cards compared to, you know, something like maybe, I don't know. I mean, Terrera, right? Like 83 rated. But you guys, you guys have to understand, 83 rating is so easy to achieve. So it's not nearly as... You know what I'm saying, boys? It's not as nearly as like when you when EA drops something like a nine goal in and you need 86s. So I'm stocking 83s, just getting some more into the club, um, as you guys are seeing. And uh, that's basically all. I mean, that's really all I would look into. I think the other thing I would look into is if you feel like 85s are somewhat viable, which I do think they kind of are. And I'm going to take a look at them in one sec. I'm just going to kind of, I'm kind of getting a few 83s more into the club here. Um, I would look into 85s and 86s though, potentially. I think that stuff's not bad, bad looks. I, I, obviously, you should be looking as well at daily things like, so every day, right, there's going to be three players coming out. You guys have to be looking at what are these players, who links to them, and how do they link to them? So, for example, like with Donnarumma and, and Cancelo and Team of the Week, at rewards this week, Chiellini went up a ton. 
right? Because everyone was using Chiellini to hybrid or not to hybrid, but to link those two players in their team respectively. So I think that's something as well that we got to start to look at more of that link investing. I want to take a look at 85s right now because this is kind of the key to footmas. It's always about figuring out, okay, what is EA going to do next? So I bought in at 85s. If you guys come up, come over here. If you guys come over here and you guys come and check my club, right? I bought in at 85s at the price of, let's see. I bought into 85s at the price of, wow, they're not up at all, man, to be honest. I mean, I, to the price, to really the price that I bought in at 85s at, they're basically the same price. They're like, Malinkovic is up, but Paulinho's like, is Paulinho really 9.2 or are those snipes? That's what I bought them at, 9.2. So they're actually relatively still at an appropriate price that I could I could I could definitely I could definitely mess around with. I think something that would be really interesting to look at and what you should always be doing is comparing and contrasting. Go back, look at what 85s or certain things did in FIFA 17 and then compare it to this year. And that's always a really good way I use things. I used to compare and contrast cards and things like that. Guys, day one of Footmas, definitely a success. That's what happened. That's how a lot of people watch the videos and everybody keeping up with me. And, and me myself made some coins today on some cards. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the upload. Hope you guys are excited for this daily upload uh, kind of series thing coming for you. A recap at the end of the day. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for Flipmas, guys. It's been a really, really fun day. First fun day of Flipmas. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more Flipmas content. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.